All right, in this example, we're given the equation of a sphere, and we have to find the center and the radius of the sphere. So we're going to put it in the form x minus a squared plus y minus b squared plus z minus c squared equals r squared. Again, once we have it written like this, our circle uh, is going to be centered at... It'll be centered at the point a comma b comma c, and it's going to have radius of just r, okay? So to do this, we're going to complete the square. So what I'm going to do, I've got x squared on the left. I'm going to subtract the 4x over and kind of put them together. We've got y squared on the left. I'm going to add 8y. I'll put them together. I've got z squared on the left. I'm going to add the 12z over. And I'm going to leave the constant 5 on the right side. So now to do the completing the square term, I'm going to give myself a little bit of room. Hopefully you've seen completing the square. Um, it's one of these things, uh, you use it a little bit, not terribly often. Uh, you use it, in fact, you know, to integrate some functions you have to use completing the square. So again, the idea is, see if I can fit it all in here. We take, uh, I'm going to take the coefficient in front of x, which is just um, negative 4. Again, I take one half of that coefficient, that's going to give me positive 2. I square it, which is going to give me a 4, and I just throw a plus 4 um, in the parentheses. I go to the same thing. I look at my 8y. I take one half of the coefficient on the y. Uh, so one half of 8 is going to be 4. 4 squared is going to be 16. I plug a plus 16 in there out of nowhere. And same thing. I'll do one half of 12. That will give me 6. 6 squared is going to be 36. So I'm going to add 36 into that set of parentheses. So now we have to be careful. You know, if you undid the parentheses, um, everything would be there, but we would have extra things. Namely, we would have an extra plus 4, plus 16, and plus 36. So on the right side, I would have to add 4, and I would have to add 16, and I would have to add 36. So I'm going to make sure that I do that as well. And now the idea is x squared minus 4x plus 4 is a perfect square. We can simply write that as x minus 2 quantity squared. Um, y squared plus 8y plus 16, we can write that as y plus 4 squared. z squared plus 12z plus 36, we can write that as z plus 6 squared. On the right side, if we add everything up, let's see, I guess we've got 20 and uh, 36, that's 56. 56 and 5 uh, would be 61. And now we've put it in this nice little form that we wanted. Um, Where'd it go? There it is. So now we've taken our equation, we've put it in the nice form. So this is going to be centered at, and the idea, you know, I see a negative 2, but we use positive 2. I see a positive 4, but we use negative 4. Um, and negative 6, that'll be the center of our sphere. And the radius, again, whatever number is just kind of chilling out over there, we've got to take the square root of that. So we'll get the square root of 61, um, which is not going to simplify at all. So we've now got our solution. So all you're doing is just completing the square a few times. Uh, nothing, nothing worse than that.